currently in the Epic War Discord server, there is something going on called the uh, Epic Festive Event 2022. It even has a voice channel for some reason. Anyway, it basically requires you to beat every Epic War game for some cool roles. So let's get started. Firstly, Epic War 1. So click continue. I haven't done the final battle. If you've seen my last video, you would know. Anyway, let's just beat it real quick. They're really sending out every unit they can. Another dragon on the way? Come on. And my mana should be maxed. Yeah. Alright, let's start Angel Spam. And in the meantime, send a dragon or two. The push is finally happening. I've got two angels and two dragons on the enemy castle. And just waiting for it to go down. And the castle goes down. I'm doing quite a bit of damage. And now it should be in range if I don't hit my angel. Alright, this looks pretty good. How's the damage? Actually not so bad, but could be better. Well, I'm not losing my elemental hour. Getting to the halfway point with actually quite a lot of HP. And I forgetting to spawn angels, which is kind of a dumb reason to lose. Why am I not summoning hobbits? What's happening? This might be saveable though. I'm barely getting any mana. Why aren't they spawning real units? 100k damage to go. This might be doable. I'm not so sure about it. It's still not doing damage to the castle. That's really good. Alright, now it is, now it is. Stop spamming hobbits. Oh shit. <laughs> It's doing so much damage. 45,000 HP, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that's doable. 24k, so close. So close, yet so far. At least I got a lot of XP from that. Alright, I got all the useless upgrades. Time to retry. Honestly, golems are underrated. Never mind. Alright, boss time. What? How did it kill everything? Out tap is so good. 69k HP. I should be able to kill him. Wasn't he like 100k? Last run. Now he is 40, so that's really good. 25k and he is still not damaging the castle, that has to be it, right? Oh, and it's dead, alright. That was fun, I guess, not really, but maybe, I don't know. And the most satisfying part, let's spend all the XP. And I'm still not max, come on. Alright, Epic War 1 is done. On to Epic War 2. I, I've actually beaten it all. I forgot I did the speedrun of the game. Well, I didn't, but yeah. For dramatic case, I did. Let's go. Now Epic War 3. I actually haven't played that one, so I'll need to beat it from scratch. Yeah, no continue. I guess new game. Which hero should I pick? It should be obvious. How does this game work again? Let's attack that guy. Wait, have I equipped my thing? No, I haven't. Oh, the music's really good though. After playing Epic War 1 for so long? That's fucking fire. That's such a great game. Wait, they start with witches? Since when do they start with witches? I think I'm screwed. What am I supposed to do? Alright, I've just surrendered this one. Alright, and face, please don't attack me for the love of God. Oh, I didn't get attacked. Should I go fight the yoga again? I will, why not? And I'm actually going to kill them? Oh, well, it's time to attack them. Another heal. And that's level 1, so our revenge wave shouldn't exist. Wait, wait, wait. 
Why is my hero dying? Why is my hero dying? Why is my hero? Why did my hero die? Did I get anything from that? At least I can upgrade my centaurs once. Which one should I upgrade? Zombies are useless. So here it is, and then face. All right, the orange guy defended against the pot armored MFR. Why are there squares in here? Their own font isn't capable of showing the letters. All right. And yeah, now we've got that Dark Knight sitting here. And why is my hero dying? I need to heal. My castle is very unhealthy, but looks like something is happening. They kill their zombies. But wait, how are my centaurs dying? Why are they progressing? Don't. Do not progress. Don't even try. No, I'm dead. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got loot from that? That's great. Alright, now I'm making an attempt. For a push. Let's hope it goes well. Alright, this one is much easier than the previous level. Alright, consider yourself completely obliterated. Oh, so that hero isn't going to do shit. And actually, God has as much land as me. So, let's change that. Why am I trying to micro? when I can simply click this button over here. Now time to take down the castle. Alright. Show me what I get. Wait. They're called Taurus Warrior. That's that's not not Tauruses. Not Taurus Oxen. Not Mad Bulls. <laughs> Taurus Warrior. Ooh, attack on Vigorov? But he uses his pot armor. But yeah, I don't think any game used just towers for naming this unit. Zombies are actually so bad. Like, if I started with towers, warriors, and centaurs, it would have been so much easier. Oh, first revenge wave. Does it even matter? I don't think it does. I mean, Epic War 3 and its revenge waves don't really go well together. I don't remember the last time where I retreated because of a revenge wave. Not even that much gold. Like, what do you do with this? Hmm. The Western Front is going crazy. Oh, I did get attack. I oh, you know what? Heal and forward. Did that heal? That heal doesn't do anything. Am I really going to lose to Gaud? In my defense, what was I supposed to do? I played Risky and and Grimtooth. Oh, I forgot Revenge Waves exist from the last game on. I don't think it's going to be really worrisome though. I still got a castle, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, time to get that land back. Oh. Those bombers actually did something. Should I retreat? Um... Uh, I should assert dominance instead. That was pretty bad. And my first win over Goat. What do I get? Bomber unit card. Another battle will Goat it is. Boatman is dead. Finally. Pain in the ass. Okay, final battle. Which should have a titan actually. It won't be that bad though, I'll just use invulnerability. Yep, here he is. Word of fire. And my invulnerability is about to get on. Oh uh, no. Yeah, he is incoming. He has a slight delay before his attack. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Now just look at his HP bar. It's going to melt. Now he's dead. 
Yeah. I have no idea what's happening on screen. I just know I should be clicking forward. There are two revenge waves coming for me. This is... I have no idea what to say. It doesn't look so bad for now. I need to freeze right here. Okay. Okay. It's working. Oh my gosh, I think I... I think I did it. Ice? Oh! And the castle is down! Oh my actual god! So I should be done with Epic War 3, right? Right? Oh my god, bro! Oh, hell no, man! What the fuck, man? And because the video would be way too long, I'll just show you a time lapse of the map with my gold playthrough. Where is the Titan? I mean, I'll activate the first revenge wave. Titan? Yeah, Diabos, okay. Anyway, heal. Invulnerability. Right about now. Arrows. I'm actually kind of struggling. Diabos should be dead shortly. Okay, Ice Blast. Do I go back now? Or do I risk my entire run? Uh, go back. I can't be bothered. Wait, I triggered it! I'm so stupid! Okay, invulnerability and march forward. I can heal now. And I have ice spell. Let's use it here. I think another Diablos could spawn, but it shouldn't really. I'm not that slow. Please just get a. What the fuck? And there you go! And time for Epic Core 4. So here we are. Let's just check. Yeah, no save data. And let's jump into level 1 straight away. And that's it. Now the start isn't very dynamic. I guess I can buy a comet. I will let it be like that for a while. Alright, let's go to level 2. And again, just pressing assault and pretty much winning. This time though, they have mad bulls and centaurs, but my hero is able to deal with them. I wonder how long I can go with just these two units. I might be tempted to save for Popo. My man. And that might just be it. I hope I don't have to eat my words later. Um, guys. They have that big scary horse. He's even retreating. But there is really no hope left for him. Also, no revenge waves. And the castle is down. I hope I can afford Popo now. And yeah, I can. And here is Popo. There's a Valkyrie on their side. And it looks kind of dangerous. Oh, Popo does a lot of damage to her actually. Oh, there's a Succubus. Level 4. Oh, Popo will finish that easily. I'll get Gorillas actually. So for the Discord row, I need to pretty much 100% the game. And it will take a while. Which only contributes to the delay of this video. My channel is dying. And another Archer, I just snipe her. That's the beauty of Epic Core 4. A stupid little backline unit behind the castle isn't really much trouble. Oh, that damage. Okay. This time, I have 7k gold again. I could get Simon. But Simon suck. I could get Berserk. I will, honestly. The Epicor 4 backgrounds are so good. Like, look at this. The trees. 
the mountain and we've got more trees with a guy hanging himself it's beautiful isn't it oh a sylph i need to kill her one more okay war tiger my entire front line is dead no not popo you aren't allowed to touch popo now only if popo could destroy a castle would be very nice sylph goes down not yet and Popo with the final hit. Oh, that was kind of intense. Hard mode unlocked. I guess I can do that now. And let's get started with hard mode. And that is still level 1. Even though it's hard mode, it's level 1. So it shouldn't be hard though. Wait, let me waste mana just to show you that the icon isn't centered. Wait. My first revenge wave, but also... If the gorillas go closer to the castle, when they actually take the stone from the ground, I believe they do damage, so it's so good. Oh, and I suppose I can get Mighty Guardians. Here is Rage. I am personally a Berserk fan. Level 2 on hard. Alright, the revenge wave should be incoming. Yep. Berserk and Common Spam. Another Archer. Do I want to shoot her? Nope. But now there is a Centaur. And another Archer. Okay, that just absurd. Wait, there's probably a Revenge Wave. Why am I not saving mana? I mean, wait, there isn't a Revenge Wave. Okay. Popo can finish that though. Alright, do I get 10k? I do, nice. Okay, the centaur is need today. And I can't expect my panzer to kill everything. Oh, the revenge wave, I just heard it. Where is the rev Oh my gosh. Anyway, will I get one shot now? Pretty close to one shooting. Basically unsavable. I guess we're going to the forest. And you can't tell me that's not the best background. Because it is. Jesus Christ. That was half of Viagraf's health. In one go. What do I do now? That's a legitimate question. Wait. Do I really need to grind? I'm struggling against this level. Why? But okay, I'm getting a lot of damage on the castle now. But again, not so friendly reminder. Revenge waves exist. Oppo is dead. A Vigraf will die. It's all a part of the plan, don't worry. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. What happened? No, I wasted my entire mana on several berserks. I really wanted to get this video on Christmas, but looks like I won't be able to. Speaking of Christmas, how was your time? Actually, I'll do something unknown for the Epic War games called Micromanagement. If the units could listen, thank you. Uh, their gorillas are dead. Oh, not exactly. They're <laughs> blocking. They're blocking all of the popo spikes. He can do damage to the castle. That's called anti-synergy. These two guys, the Panzer and Popo, anti-synergy. Okay, several more. I think else did damage. I think the tank, yeah, the tank was doing that damage. Okay, I finally want that level. How much money did I get? You better give me something like 20k. Go to, oh my gosh, I'm so good at predicting. I should become a gum. I mean, guild sounds good. Wait, does guild even work? Okay, so my bonus is 1,500 and if it did not work, the bonus should have been 1,250. Alright, I don't think it works. If it does, it doesn't work on bonus, but I will just quickly ask in the Discord server. Alright, I was told guild does not work, so that's very sad. I'm not sure if the critical damage works on the castle. 
It might not be true. I remember Lazbanan saying it doesn't work. But then Zerni said it works, so it really isn't for sure. Alright, just instant assault. Nothing can go wrong, I'm sure. Uh, let's eliminate their backline. And Virov is almost dead, come on. Okay, this, this has to be a joke, right? Literally, Popo is my front line. Okay, so I've got max out mana. And I need to very carefully destroy pretty much all of their units. So first I was out and immediately throw some comments. Looks to be working for now. This isn't even going to be a win. Unless Vigrov saves the day. If Vigrov tanks for a bit. That was a nice coach from Vigrov. But let's try at least level 5 on hard. I won't get a blue archer spawn, right? Yep, it yet is. No! No! Oh my gosh! The sick of us is so stupid. I'll get Vigrov in the fight. Uh, if Vigrov can tank for Popo to obliterate the castle, that will be amazing. That's an easy dub. Uh, yeah, I was about to say for the um, re-releases, the steam releases of the game, units shouldn't move after they shoot out their projectile. And I wonder if that would mean that these sylphs, for example, they will be a pain in the ass. I think that very well is the case. And yeah, if sylphs don't move after shooting out they can just group like 10 of them right behind their castle and even my succubus even the panzer couldn't take them out that would be so annoying and also popo wouldn't be able to do such crazy damage it's it's going to be an interesting experience the meta will shift seriously but i'm looking forward to it Why do they keep disappearing in the Shadow Realm? Wait, I'm destroying their base. Oh, that there must be a revenge wave. And I'm more than ready. Why is there nothing on this level? Nothing on a dragon? Oh! Um... I... Talked too soon. Okay, that dragon should be easy though. Especially now that I have Popo. And Mana for Berserk. Okay, this isn't looking so bad. Actually, is there an angel for a revenge wave? I swear if there is an angel. Is there going to be a revenge wave even? Was level 10 a revenge wave or was that just a timing unit? There's the Trojan horse. Oh my god, these bombers are going to make me go insane. Vigrov, we will not be able to get a single attack off, I swear. Oh, come on, Popo! Um, there is another guy attacking Vigrov, which I do not appreciate. And funnily enough, Vigrov is out damaging him. What a fun level, am I right? But yeah, if it's possible to defeat the castle before the main threat in a level, that's just bad game design. Wait, I have to do this now? I I need a non-elemental for this one. But yeah, I'm looking for an epicore for challenge. That's hopefully possible. If you have any suggestions in the comments you go, I wanted to tell you that an epicore 2 challenge should be on the way. I hope it's possible, I'm not sure. All I want from you is suggestions for Epicor 3 and 4. I could do stuff like limit my units. I have no other suggestions. Why did I heal? Am I drunk? I mean, it's Christmas, but am I, am I really that drunk? Come on, that was so close. 
It's clearly not going to be it. Popo just started doing real damage. Let's let's see, maybe there is a god. Come on. Come on. No, no, come on. No! I did it! Is this for real? This was so close. Maybe I should bow. Uh okay I will. It's as simple as Arrow Tower and AFK. And yeah, this is the entire level. This is the cheese strat. The only strat I care about. Okay, see you in 5 hours. Oh, he's almost dead. I reckon we can speed up the process. Okay, he's dead, right? He has to be. Yep, he died. Alright, that should be all. Ooh, 81k? Oh my god, that's so sweet. So the catch with this level is basically a uh, black goblin. One shots everything and is invulnerable unless you use non-elemental. And there are only three non-elemental things in this game. The dragon, the angel and the meteorite. And I'm not relying on a meteorite, neither on an angel. I think the dragon is the best one and I did not equip it. Everybody stay here other than the dragon. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about. Alright, I will stop time just so my dragon doesn't stop every two seconds. And go ahead. Time stop. Okay, now it should die. Yep, it's dead. And yeah, that's basically the entire level. It's a really fun quirk and a really fast gold farm. Wait. Why isn't there a revenge wave? I mean, it is so normal, that doesn't mean there shouldn't be any revenge waves. And now, word of hell. Let's try it, who knows? Wait, I heal it? Also from invulnerable, he went to absorption. So now that I've got my mana max, the units that don't heal him are these... I don't remember about goblins, I think so. Yeah, so basically half my setup heals him. Is this good enough though? It's not bad, for sure. It's not looking so bad, but it's still not promising enough. Angel might as well solo him. Didn't think it would be that easy, but I guess. Wait, the angel has high heals? Why does she need high heals? What? That doesn't make any sense. I have never seen an angel portrayed as somebody with high heals. Word of Hell's neck is kind of relatable, not gonna lie. Imagine if my angel dies before the Word of Hell. There's no way, right? Yeah, there's like two pixels. Wait, wait. This is how much there is. I can keep on zooming? No, I can't. There's literally no health left. I'm as zoomed in as it gets. Okay, now I can zoom out. Oh my god, that's so much gold. Alright, there is only one level left. And this strategy looks good enough. Let's go. Okay, I can assault now. I think this is the golden... Wait. Wait, let's remove these two guys. And add real DPS. Oh, come on. Okay, that won't... Wait, I have 20 seconds. And amazing DPS. Um, maybe my DPS is not as amazing as I thought. 
if I time stop the moment she becomes invisible, I can easily take down the rest of the castle. Okay. Now I will assault. And let's hope I time this well. Now? Oh no! That was like several frames off. Also, she resists. Sure. I mean, I can still pull it off. If I just wait until right now. So she resists, she absorbs, and then there's like that single element that actually does damage to her. I am one achievement away, and I'm not getting that achievement. I think her should be Inferno. Big Dark Inferno. I don't think he's aggressive. What? Okay. But yeah, he should stay in the middle of the map or something. Alright Inferno, you might be big and black, but you can't break the time and space continuum like I do. Anyway, the castle is almost dead. And the only ones damaging it are Vigruff and several Phantom Armors. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, final time stop. And the castle should be broken, yep. Epic it is. It's the big yeti, right? You know what would be funny? To try and bum rush it. Also, if you're enjoying the content, look and like and subscribe. Just to make sure you don't end up like this guy right here. Oh, is that the big yeti? Wait, is that a blind spot? Okay, so time stop and everybody go there. And the damage is looking pretty good. Please don't die. Wait, the yet is... I don't know how I managed to do that, but every single yeti died. Maybe like one survive, but the tigers are just so good. And taking the win finally after several hours of gameplay. And that's for Epicor 4. Let's just upgrade Simon because he deserves it. And yeah, just screenshot now. And the last game in the series, Epicor 5, which I've already done. I hope you enjoyed, and that's where you get food. There's actually another Epicor game that needs to be played. So I finished every single level, every cave of trial, other than one, Nemesis. But that's topic for another video.